Bruh. Like, you act like you've never been with a female okay, before. I'm, I'm not gonna Front touch you. Grab my, okay, no, just it. my hair. Grab it. Just, can you just stop? Can, how old are you? 25. Act like it. What happens when someone refuses to follow police orders? In this video, we're taking you through a jaw dropping encounter where Karen learns the hard way why it's crucial to comply with law enforcement. The situation began when the two women, neither of whom carried any form of identification, were spotted by Target's loss prevention team as they selected a variety of items from different departments, including cosmetics, jewelry, and apparel. We just got them for shoplifting a couple, All right. a couple hundred dollars of things. Cool. I think they got the tools coming up. Um, I got their ID. They don't have ID, but I got their information here. Okay. So, uh, you ready with that? Oh, uh, no, they're still trying to find like, the DPC. Well, what's the dollar amount around right now? Cool, so they're at least both like under 250 close to that. But it was cosmetics and clothing fair up like, Okay. That's about it. So I'll just take your picture real quick too. Let me straighten this out. What do they take? Um, a lot of everything. Stationery, jewelry, apparel, cosmetics. Yeah, all of them. The suspects used a shopping cart to gather their selections before discreetly transferring the goods into two bags. The women then bypassed the checkout lanes and headed directly for the store's exit, triggering the attention of the security personnel. Okay. No ID on you? No, I don't have ID. Nothing. What school did you go to? Uh, Miles West. Miles West. What school did you go to? Okay. Did you, have you ever had a driver's license? No. Yeah. I have it. You have it? Yeah. From, from which state? Illinois. Yeah. Illinois? Mm -hmm. When did you get it issued? Okay. So what's your real name? Mary. No. That's my real name, Mary. Because when I run that name, it should come back with a driver's license, and it's not. Is it M A R Y A R? What's your last name? R I Z B I. I R Z B I. V. V. I R Z V I. Okay. Yeah. And then first name is M A R Y A M. Yeah. No middle initial. No. 100%. Yeah. Going this much here. I'm just going to run it in the car. Target security staff, initially monitoring the suspects via the store's surveillance cameras, moved to intercept the women as they approached the exit. Upon stopping them, the security team confirmed that the women had concealed the merchandise in their bags without paying. At this point, the police were called to the scene to handle the situation. When the officers arrived, they encountered additional complications. The suspects initially provided false names and personal details attempting to evade identification. However, through persistent questioning and cross-referencing the information, the officers managed to obtain the correct details. Well, we don't know yet. You might, doesn't matter if it's the first time or not. You might go to jail, you might get a ticket. It's going to be decided in the next few minutes. A few minutes? Mm -hmm. When he tells me how much you guys stole, we'll make a decision. You guys can come back to the store for anything, even if you want to come here to buy milk. That's, That's if right. you don't get arrested right now. You guys are trespassed from the store, meaning you can never come back, even if you want to buy things with money. If you come back, it's an automatic arrest. No. You guys work anywhere? I work at campus. You work on campus? What campus? My college. Which college? Okay. Okay, so you make money. It says $16. So okay. $22. So you make money, right? So why are you stealing things? I mean, it was the first time, so we just saw it. Doesn't matter. That's an excuse. It's the first no, I'm time. just saying. We just saw it in the social media. That's why we just. You saw what in the social media? The way that they steal and everything. So we just. Huh? The way they steal and that people are stealing? In social media, yeah. Okay. And it was first time, so we just fought for them. So we said that. How old are you again? 20. My seven year old knows better not to take someone else's things. And you're 20. Two things. We just fought for social media. Okay. I'll make sure to write it on a ticket so the judge can read it that you fell for social media. Can you check who left, who left with the gray bag on camera just so we charge the correct Great, I took a Huh? Uh, the one. Yeah. Okay. The women admitted to their actions, citing the influence of social media as the reason behind their decision to shoplift. They claimed that it was their first time engaging in such behavior, which the officers found concerning given their age as both women were 20 years old. 
Following their apprehension, the women were informed that they were being trespassed from the Target store, meaning they were prohibited from returning to the premises. Yeah, I'll use this address too. Uh, you're signing a complaint, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so what did you observe? Uh, selecting of all the merchandise that's in there, the bras, the cosmetics, and then concealing into the bag, into the hardware department. Are you watching them via cameras or? Both. So we started via camera and then I watched them physically. Okay, so you saw them walking around the aisle, yep. putting stuff in those bags? Yes, sir, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then leaving the store? Above and then leaving the store, uh, I stopped them in front of the doors and then they... Which door? The GM door, so the okay. TV set of the store. That's one step yep. past the... Yep, the exit doors. Okay. So I saw the whole step. We saw them through camera initially. Then I went out, saw some concealment on camera, then I went out to see more on the floor, and then they exited through the side and we took them. Right they never had a cart with them, just those two bags? Just these two. Well, they had a car, shopping cart, yeah. They load up a shopping cart, and then they started just putting everything from the shopping cart in there. Into those two bags? Yep. So they okay. started with the shopping cart, and they just started putting everything in there. And which exit did they use? That exit. This the one? electronic side, yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Uh, can I see it right here real quick? You're taking it with you, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, let me take a picture of my uh, Your email, that's what I need. So we can upload this stuff. It's just my last name, or my my first name dot last name at Target. Case number is 24 5785. Cool. Um, are you going to be able to, when you upload everything, upload copies of this too? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, all. In yeah, it'll be a picture form. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll take the copies for now, but when you upload it, just let upload it. Let me get a better picture then. So it's all under one file. I got you. Alright, uh, stand up. This warning came with a strict consequence. Any future attempt to enter the store would result in an automatic arrest. The suspects were then transported to the police station for further processing, where their personal information was officially recorded, and they were held for potential charges. At the station, the women were further informed of the gravity of their actions. Despite their claims of being influenced by social media and their assertion that this was their first offense, the legal system treats shoplifting as a serious crime, particularly when the value of the stolen goods approaches the threshold for more severe penalties. Under Illinois law, shoplifting is classified under the offense of retail theft as defined in 720 ILCS 5-1625. According to this statute, a person commits retail theft when they knowingly take possession of merchandise offered for sale with the intent to deprive the merchant of the full retail value of the item. The severity of the charges depends on the value of the stolen goods. In this case, the value of the stolen items was under $300, which constitutes a class of misdemeanor. A class of misdemeanor in Illinois is punishable by up to one year in jail, a fine of up to $2,500 or both. Additionally, the court may impose restitution requiring the offender to pay the retailer the full value of the stolen merchandise. However, if the stolen items had exceeded $300, the charges could escalate to a class four felony carrying more severe penalties including potential imprisonment for one to three years and higher fines. Given the circumstances, the women involved in this incident face a legal process that will determine whether they receive a lesser penalty, such as probation or court supervision, or if more stringent measures will be applied due to a B. All right, let's move to this next case where things might get even messier. A woman is pulled over for doing 88 Memphis in a 65 amp zone. She greets the officer with good morning, but thinks it's 10, 30 p.m. How's it going, ma'am? Good morning. <laughs> Officer Packer will say, please, reason for a stop is a speeding and failing to maintain lane, okay? Where are you coming from, ma'am? I came from Starface, the job. What's the rush, ma'am? I'm sorry? What was the rush? The rush, just trying to get home. Just trying to go. Yeah. That's my, um... Do you have your driver license? Yes, sir. Where were you coming from again? Stoneface. Stoneface? That's where I work, yeah. Did you have anything to drink, ma'am? No, sir. Smoke? No. <laughs> I may be around people that do smoke, but... Is the car registered under your name? I'm sorry? Is yes. The car, yeah. this is, I own this, yes. You own this? I must not have brought it. It's There's all... my debit cards and my I... credit card and my <laughs> You're okay. Costco. So unbuckle your seatbelt. Come, step out. I'm still trying to find my ID. You're okay. I don't have it. You're okay, ma'am. What's your name? Chantel. Chantel, okay. Step out. Do you know what time is it? 10.30. 30. Should I turn off my car? It's fine. It's up to you. Leave it on? Yeah. Do you have any weapon, anything on you, ma'am? No, sir. No? Okay. It's at home. Okay. Let's go in front of my car, please. 
The incident began when officers observed a vehicle speeding and failing to maintain its lane. Upon pulling the car over, the officer approached the vehicle and engaged with the driver, identified as Chantal. Initially polite, Chantal responded to the officer's greeting with a good morning but quickly became evasive when asked about her destination and the reason for her haste. Despite her initial denial, she eventually admitted to having consumed alcohol earlier in the day. Be honest, how much you had to drink? I had a couple of drinks. I had a photo shoot earlier today, so okay. I did have a couple of drinks. Couple? What's couple, man? Like two. Two? Okay, two how long three. ago? Two, two, two. Um, I was there from... I had a photo shoot at noon, so I was probably there from... I think we started drinking at about one. Around one? Okay. Yeah. Um, what kind of drink did you drink, man? Like vodka. Vodka, okay. Yeah, so I had a couple. Couple, okay. How big was the cups, man? I mean, I only have like a shot or two per hour. Per hour, okay, man. All right, man. Do you have any injuries with your head? I do have migraines, so I um, I do have a neurologist. Can you come by for nine Do You have what? Sorry. A neurologist. Yeah, neurologist. So I do okay. have migraines. I Okay, man. Uh, do you have any injuries with your eyes, man? Not eyes, but I do have issues with my back and stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. So put your head level like this. Okay, put your hands on your Can side. I, oh, sorry. You're yeah, so cold. It's okay. I'm sorry. Do you have a jacket in the car? I do. Okay, we'll yeah. grab the jacket after, okay? After? Yeah, okay. put your hands on your side so like here. this. Yeah. So level head, and if I put my finger wherever, just follow it with your eyes, okay? This man? Go back on your side. Okay. You're okay. The situation took a turn when the officer requested Chantel to step out of the vehicle for field sobriety tests. Chantel expressed confusion and hesitation throughout the process, citing cold weather, anxiety, and previous injuries as reasons for her inability to perform the test properly. Despite repeated explanations from the officer, she struggled to follow instructions, leading to further suspicion of impairment. Open your mouth. Out. Your tongue out. Sorry, you said open your mouth out. <laughs> Sorry, it's a... Okay, okay up. Put your tongue up. Five, six, three, six, All right, man. So here's the thing. I feel like you had more than three three drinks. Okay? And based on my training, I mean, I, I feel like you do have more than three. Are you going to be honest with me and tell me the truth? How much you have three or more, no but I haven't been out very long. She's not responding so. to the text because she doesn't okay. want to How long ago? The text order that's about to occur. So it sounds like it's self Okay, what do you have? Excuse what did you have? Yeah. What kind of drink did you have? I was drinking only liquor. I wasn't drinking Hard beer. liquor? Yeah. Okay. I was just trying to get home. I lived down the street. And, and I was taking my... I took my... Fresh did you have any mixed drinks? I mean, liquor. Mixed, mixed drinks? drinks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you know what kind? Like, adio, vodka. vodka? Okay. All right, ma'am. Go ahead and grab your jacket and we'll do the rest of the test, okay? No, ma'am, I told you to count your steps out loud so I can hear it. Are you done? Okay. Are you done, ma'am? Did you complete the test? Definitely not, ma'am. Did you complete the test? Yes or no? Yes? Whatever you say. No, ma'am. It's not. Did you complete the test? I stopped at nine. You stopped at nine? You think Before I stopped? Before that, yeah. I okay. asked you to. Let's go in front of my car. Are you complete? You're done? What you said. <laughs> I, didn't I asked anything. you, sir. Okay. I asked are you done? You. Are you done with the test, ma'am? I asked you, sir. Okay. I'm asking you one more time. Are you done with the test? Yes or are no? You, am I done? You asked. Okay. You I told you. Me. I told you do not stop until you finish. Correct. I asked you. I looked back once. I thought I was done. I looked at you and I asked you. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. I went. I kept going because you said to keep. Yes, sir. You done? All right. Let's go in front of my car. Following the field sobriety tests, the officer informed Chantel that she appeared to have consumed more than the two drinks she initially claimed. The officer then requested that she submit to a breath test to determine her blood alcohol content back. Despite being warned about the consequences of refusal, including the potential loss of her driver's license and increased penalties if convicted, Chantel refused to take the test. I'm just gonna search you, okay? You do have pockets, so I'm just gonna yeah. search for pockets. Let's go in the back of my car, please. Open your mouth. Tongue out. 
up. Listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for DWI, okay? The New Mexico Employee Consent Act, okay, listen, listen, man. The New Mexico Employee Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you chose to take this additional independent test, you have the right reasonable opportunity to arrange a step. No, I'm step not going to get out. I'm just or you're adjusting really myself. Close to me, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to get out. Okay. Can you push my hair back, please? Push my hair back. Both, all of it. No. I'm, from, I'm not going to do that. From the front. I'm, okay, let I'm, me read this. I'll, 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 I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I literally... Which, with both sides? Like, I just the, the, this, yes, do as you... Please. I get, like, very anxious. All of it. That's good. Please. Thank Is that you. good? Okay. I get... Okay, that's it. If you choose to take this station independent test, you have the right reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests. The cost of additional chemical tests will be paid by a law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Step back, man. What are you doing? I'm listening to you. I'm in the car. <laughs> well, you're getting really close to me, man. I'm listening. Okay. Do you agree to take our test? No. No? I'm not going to. Okay. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driving license or non-resident opportunity Sir. privileges for one year. If you're convicted in a court of driving under the influence, influences, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand, ma'am? Yes. Your right to speak attorney or remain silent does not apply to requirement of New Mexico law that you Sir, take a breath please. test. Do you agree to take our test? I will not. I consider your action as a refusal. Go ahead and sit back. It's okay. Sir, please. Okay. I'll can sit I just, back. Sit can back. I sit back. As a result of her refusal and the evidence of impairment gathered during the field sobriety tests, the officer placed Chantel under arrest for driving under the influence DUI. Her behavior became increasingly erratic as she was placed in the police car where she continued to express anxiety and claustrophobia. Chantel repeatedly asked the officer to adjust her hair and exhibited resistance when asked to comply with standard procedures such as buckling her seatbelt. May I please have a couple of breaths before you set me back? You need a what? A couple of breaths before you set me back. Breaths? Breaths, like air. Okay, breathing. I'll, I will open the window. I just need a second, please. Okay. I, I won't, I'm not going anywhere, I can trust me. I, trust me, you're not, you can run. Well, I'm not trying to. Is there any way, okay. okay I won't buckle you till we leave here. Thank Is you. Is that something? Real quick. Yes. I don't have like mem numbers memory. I'll give you your phone and you can take the phone, okay? Thank you. I literally. Okay, I'm step back. I'm gonna put your seatbelt on, please. Please. Step back now. Please step back. I mean, lay back a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me step out. Why? Put my hair back. I can't, I'm not gonna do that. Put my hair back then. I'm literally, is, okay. put my hair back, dude. That's all you can do. All right, all right, all right. Put my I'll hair back that. because I'm literally, okay. I have anxiety and I'm okay. literally claustrophobic. I say it, okay. okay. Put my hair back, please. All of it, no, grab I it. Front and back, grab. Bruh, okay. like you act like you've never been with a female okay, before. I'm, I'm not gonna Front and touch you. Grab my okay, no, just it. my hair. Grab it. I just did. Like this. Absolutely just, not. Step no, back. I mean, no, lay back. This is the worst. Under New Mexico law, where the incident took place, Chantel's refusal to submit to a breath test carries significant legal consequences. According to Chapter 66, Article 8, Section 107 of the New Mexico Statutes, any person who operates a motor vehicle within the state is deemed to have given consent to chemical tests for the purpose of determining the presence of alcohol or drugs. Refusal to submit to these tests results in an automatic revocation of the individual's driver's license for one year. Additionally, refusal can lead to enhanced penalties if the individual is later convicted of DUI, including increased fines, longer jail sentences, and mandatory participation in substance abuse programs. Seems like this woman just landed herself in hot water, but this is not the worst case. The incident began when Officer Chavez, a New Mexico State Police officer, noticed a vehicle with its bright lights on, including an LED light bar blinding oncoming traffic. Upon pulling the vehicle over, Officer Chavez identified several violations, including the use of high beams and expired license plate, and discrepancies between the vehicle's VIN number and the paperwork provided by Martinez. 
Open the door then. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Good. I'm Officer Tabs the New Mexico State Police. The reason why I'm stopping you is all your bright lights are on and your LED light bar, you're blinding traffic and myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm So you to dim your brights is the state statute what I'm stopping you for, all right? Yeah. Give your license, registration, insurance. Um, your friend's car. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a license with you? It's voided. Yes. Door okay. open? Is anyone else with you in the vehicle? No. All right. Just go ahead and give me all your information that you have. How about insurance? Do you have insurance? Well, you're driving the vehicle, right? Yeah. So, Miss Martinez, you're liable for everything right now because you're driving the vehicle. Okay, well, I'm just explaining to you, I just need to get upset, all right? You're gonna cause an accident with all the lights on like that. Well, like I said, if you're gonna be driving this vehicle, you need to make sure you know how to operate the vehicle and its components, right? Because you're gonna be liable for it, okay? Also, that license plate's expired, okay? And my other question is, how come you're driving with a voided ID card or a voided driver's license? During the stop, Martinez admitted that the car belonged to a friend and that her driver's license was voided. She also failed to provide valid insurance information. Despite these issues, Officer Chavez remained calm and attempted to explain the seriousness of the violations, especially the potential dangers of driving with bright lights that could cause accidents. So do you have a driver's license? Yeah. Okay, where's the, and, the that's and everything's valid and current? Yes. All right. Is there anything in the vehicle I should be concerned about at all? No. Nothing? All right, I'll be right back. Leave this door open. Officer Chavez with the state police. 6407, okay? All right, Ms. Martinez, the vehicle information you gave me doesn't match up to the VIN number and the license plate. Do you have something that has paperwork for the VIN? I gotta make sure this is the, exact, the same vehicle that you gave me. No, the title that you gave me, yeah. that red card is the title of the vehicle, right? No. It's a different VIN number from the license plate that I have on this display on this truck, okay? So I need to so make sure that everything to matches. The VIN to the vehicle? I need to check the VIN, that's that's correct, yeah. okay? So the plates are wrong? It's not matching the, the title you gave me. So I just wanna make sure it's at the same title. They're, they're, they're not matching, okay? I just need to make sure that's correct, okay? I'm also gonna issue several citations today, okay, for the violations why I stopped you. So I'm gonna have you exit the vehicle for me, come sign the citations in the back of my car. This is how it works, okay? The United States case law actually supports my decision to have you exit the vehicle, okay? So it is backed, I'm not asking you to do anything that's unconstitutional, okay? Everything is on our system, on our computer, okay? So it's easy for me to have you sign the citation and have you scan it. There's two options we can go about this okay i'm giving you a law and that's fine 311 has nothing to do with law enforcement you can call them but this is the deal okay if, if as the traffic stop progressed officer chavez requested that martinez exit the vehicle to sign citations and allow him to check the vin number this request backed by us supreme court case law is a standard procedure to ensure that the vehicle's documentation is in order and to complete the traffic stop safely However, Martinez immediately became argumentative, questioning the officer's authority and refusing to comply with his lawful orders. I'm, asked, I'm giving you a lawful order to exit the vehicle. Sure. If you don't want to do so, I'm going to end up arresting you for obstruction. So you can sign the citation so I can get you on your way. And I'm not going to call over you so I can check the VIN number on the door. I'm not going to walk out of the car going to be a guy. That has nothing to do with anything, ma'am. It's on camera, everything's on camera, you're being recorded, okay, that's fine. Ma'am, I'm gonna give you two options, okay? Yeah, it, and that's fine, you can, you can file a complaint, do whatever you need to do, okay? So this is the deal. You have two options. You can either sign the citation and exit the vehicle so I can check the VIN number, or I'm just gonna take you to NBC. What would you like to do tonight? Well, it's it's United States case law, ma'am, okay? So call 311, do what you need to do. Okay, I'm, I'm giving you two options. One, do you want to exit the vehicle and sign the citation so you can get on your way? Stand right there. Or do you want to go to jail? I'm not Because I have no problem getting you out of this car and placing you under arrest for obstruction. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to give you two options, ma'am. What would you like to do? Would you like to go about, Would you like to go home tonight or would you like to go to MDC? Okay, go ahead and exit the vehicle, please. 523 Centcom. I've already explained to you, ma'am, that everything is electronically, okay? It's easy for me to scan your signature on the online citation so you can go on your way, okay? If not, you're going to spend the night at NBC and I have no problem getting you out of this car and placing you under arrest for obstruction, for failure to obey a police officer. Officer Chavez repeatedly explained that his actions were lawful and in accordance with the United States Constitution. Despite his efforts to de-escalate the situation and ensure compliance, Martinez continued to resist, arguing that she was being unlawfully detained and even suggesting that she knew her rights better than the officer. The citizens, okay? I'm asking for like, something that's, what's wrong with calling the partner? Well, my partner's in a row. When they pull over somebody like that, and okay. whatever's 
Well, Ma'am, you don't dictate this traffic stop. I do. Okay. So, like I said, you, and and this is not the sheriff's department. Okay. And I am following the rules that are backed by the United States Constitution. Okay. So, like I said, ma'am, you'll be under arrest once we get here. Okay. We'll see about that. Why would I be under arrest? Because I didn't get out of the car. I don't feel safe to exit the vehicle. Okay. That's fine. I've already ordered you several times to do so. Yes, but I don't feel safe to do so. Why is it? I've already explained to you, ma'am. Okay. I have, I'm issuing you four citations for the violations why I stopped you, That's okay? Fine. I can this, this, don't interrupt me and this, we're already past that, okay? Um, you don't dictate this traffic stop. I need you to understand that very clear, have, no, okay? No. And I'm very, and I am respecting your rights, okay? And I'm not violating any rights because what I'm asking you to do is backed by the United States Supreme Court, okay? It is legal. I'm not asking you to do anything unconstitutional. So if you know your rights, you should know that, okay? So let me explain something to you. I need to check the VIN number because it's not matching up with the paperwork you gave me, but I'm not going to open my door for my safety, okay, with you sitting right there because I don't know what's in this vehicle and I don't know if you're armed, okay? So like I've already gave you several times, all right? It, it doesn't matter. I've already, we're already past that. I've already gave you several times and I ordered you to get out of the vehicle and you refused to do so. So, so we're going to go the other route, okay? I've already explained that to you. Have I denied anything? Yes, you have. She's not listening. Just get out. Step out, ma'am. I don't want to break your window. Step out. Stand right there. Yes, sir. Step out now. After several warnings and attempts to reason with Martinez, Officer Chavez was left with no choice but to take more serious action. He informed Martinez that her continued refusal to exit the vehicle and comply with his commands would result in her arrest for obstruction. Despite these clear warnings, Martinez continued to defy the officer, forcing Officer Chavez to call for backup and ultimately arrest her. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Why are you putting hands on me? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop tensing up. Why are you putting hands on me? We're resisting an officer. Why? We'll explain, okay? Go. Don't resist, ma'am. It's going to be worse for you. Stop resisting. Sit right there. Stay right there. 523 Sancom. I have one female uh, detained at this time. Okay, go ahead and call for someone, okay? Okay, uh, I have my, 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 my Okay, just hang out, just hang out real quick, okay? When officers attempted to remove Martinez from the vehicle, she resisted physically, leading to her being charged with resisting arrest in addition to obstruction. Even after being handcuffed and detained, Martinez remained uncooperative, making sarcastic remarks and questioning the legitimacy of the stop. Yeah, we'll call. Okay. So, so Miss Martinez, when, when, I need to explain something to you, okay? What? So, everything that you just did right there, okay, I'm not... I have the right to do it. Okay, listen to me. I asked for you to call, okay. have somebody else... Listen to me. Gonna, I'm not going to... Are you, you going to listen to me or are you going to continue to interrupt me and act like you know everything, yeah. right? Okay, so United States Supreme Court allows me to get you out of the vehicle, okay? And, and I'm going to provide you with that... Me and you said you listen to me. Just, just, could you just stop? Can, how old are you? 25. Act like it. Okay, like listen to what cop. I have to say, okay? Act like a state cop. Make sure you know your job correctly. Okay. We're not going to do this anymore. You're just going to go to NBC. So because I, cause I've tried to explain this to you many, many times, For what and you're not listening to me. Why am I being under arrest? For resisting, evading, and obstructing an officer. No, I am. Cause I didn't obstructing. I didn't resist okay. I said I'd get just, out just hang out right here. When you have something to do, there's body cams. I know, and I usually okay. ask the cops to turn that shit on too. Yeah, everything's on, ma'am. It's a red camera. It's recording. That's good. So then. Okay, you are under arrest for obstructing an officer. Okay, I already talked to my supervisor, so you're gonna be going with me tonight, okay? Do you have someone that can come pick up this truck? Martinez's actions during the traffic stop led to several legal charges, each carrying significant consequences under New Mexico law. The primary violations included driving with a voided license, failure to provide valid insurance, and obstruction of a law enforcement officer. Additionally, her physical resistance during the arrest added a charge of resisting an officer. All right, fellas, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and then don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and educational contents in the future. Thanks for your support.